This right here is a $10 Lego set. And this is a $100 Lego set. But what I'm about to show you in this video is $1,000 worth of Lego. Yes, you heard that right. To celebrate getting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I went out and spent all of my money on $1,000 worth of Lego. You may be saying to yourself right now, W Bricks, you have 4,000 subscribers, not one. And that is because I have gained 3,000 subscribers in the time it's taken me to get all of these shipments in, which is absolutely insane. So there will be another celebratory video coming out very soon. Once again, thank you all for the incredible support here on YouTube. I am so thankful to have all of you amazing subscribers. All right, now let's get right into the video of $1,000 of Lego. All right, and let's get started with some of the minifigures I purchased over on eBay, and then we'll get into the awesome big sets I purchased. So, what I've got right here is a bunch of Zane. So let's go through these really quick, because there'll be a full Zane minifigure video soon. We've got a Legacy Zane there. Another Legacy Zane. We've got a Tournament Zane here. We've got a Season 8 Zane there. We've got a Honor Robe Zane. We've got Spinjitzu, the Forbidden Spinjitzu Zane. We've got this Spinjitzu Zane right here. We've got the Stone Armor Zane from 2014. We have Season 7 Hands of Time Zane. We've got Snake Jaguar right there. We've got a Ninjago movie Zane with hair. We've got another Season 8 Zane. We've got Honor Robe Zane. We've got another FS Zane. We've got the Titanium Ninja Zane. We've got another Season 8 Zane. We've got the Battle Damage Zane. And then the Legacy golden zane those should be all these zanes i need to finish my zane collection so you can see the full zane video out on my youtube channel here within a couple weeks this is going to be a big video that you will not want to miss all right now starting off with a couple of the poly bags i picked up over on ebay i was able to find these for a very good deal here combined we've got the kendo zane poly bag from i think this was 2018 super good there Perfectly sealed, of course. And then the other one I picked up was the Ninjago Movie Lloyd Poly Bag, sealed as well, of course. Great finds. Uh, they were together in a lot, and I got it for a great price. At least I thought it was a great price. So that was a quick and nice pickup for sure. The next poly bag I picked up here was this brand new Minecraft poly bag. I saw this thing over at Target, and I could not resist. This thing looks amazing. I cannot wait to get that built. Next up here is the Minecraft, uh, the Frozen Peaks. I did not pick this set up in January, and I finally pulled the trigger on it and picked it up because I thought it was definitely the time. I think that looks like a great set. I'll have a review on that in a couple days. All right, and the next set I picked up here was the 2019 Dragon Master Zane set sealed in box over on eBay. Once again, got this for a great deal sealed. I, I just could not pass up on it. So I got that for the Zane minifigure, of course, for the Zane video. All right, now moving on to the bulk of the sets here. We've got the Kai's Race Car Evo set. Never picked this one up either. Uh, looks like a good $10 set. Uh, kind of looks like a 4 plus set to me, but we'll check that out in the review. Also comes with a uh, Core Kai. Love that Kai. Great one to have. Can never have too many. I think that's like my fourth or fifth Core Kai minifigure. We've got a, a Jay's Evo Jet. This looks like a great one as well. Cannot wait to build that. 146 pieces for 10 bucks. That is a great deal there for price to piece. Next set up here is the Lloyd's Mech Battle Evo set. This looks like a great set for $20. You're getting two $10 mechs basically combined into one set. And I think it looks very good, especially that skeleton mech. I think that looks terrific. I'm not sure about all of this here on the Lloyd mech, but we'll check that out in my review. So stay tuned for that. And we'll just put him right back here on the side. Move on to the next one. All right, next one up is the Cole's Earth Dragon Evo. And I was excited to get this one because we really have not had a Cole Dragon since... 2011 i can't remember one since then so i'm super excited to be getting my hands on this one 
Uh, it looks good. It looks a little bit weird down here, but uh, we'll, we'll be able to see more in the review. And once I get it built, I think I'll have a different opinion. I just, I, I have a feeling that once it's in my hands, I'll end up liking it. I'm not sure though. We'll see. All right, we'll set him right back there. We're getting quite a good stack back here. Next one up here is what I was super excited for, and that is the Kai's Mech Rider Evo. I think this looks like a really good set. Yes, it might be quite a bit overpriced, but we'll have to check that out. But I think this miniature mech here for Kai looks very, very good. I love those mini mechs, so I'm excited to get this one built in hand. All in all, looks like a very, very good set. I think he'll sit right back there. All right, and we've just got two more big sets left to go. The second to last one here is the Jay's Titan Mech from the most recent Evo Wave. I am so excited to get this one built. This one looks very, very good. Uh, the sword here looks awesome. I cannot wait to see how that's put together. Uh, the head tail piece back here looks super, super cool. Unfortunately, my box came like completely destroyed. Like, I don't know what happened, but like the whole thing is crushed. Uh, I was so disappointed to see that, but uh, oh well, I guess I, I couldn't wait to get this video out, so I just had to, I'll have to live with it, but all in all, this looks like a terrific set, uh, we'll see if it's overpriced, the price to piece is pretty good, especially because we're getting some pretty big pieces here in the set, uh, but yeah, $80 for this is pretty high. All right, and we'll add him to the back right there with one set left to go. Can you guess which one it is? Leave it down in the comments below. All right, and the last set of this $1,000 haul is none other than the Zane's Ice Dragon set for $100. I could no longer pass this set up. I wanted to get my hands on it for a long time, and it is super, super cool. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the wing pieces here, but I think that it may work in person. I, I just cannot wait to get this one built. So excited. Uh, these skeleton minifigures look very good. I just cannot wait to do this. And of course, another core Zane. I needed three for the Zane video, and that is the third one I needed right there. All in all, a super, super cool set. Come on, look at that thing. Definitely not doing this, though. Like, what the heck is that? If you, yeah. Yeah, no. We're on this build right there. Look at that. Wow. I cannot wait to get this one built here and get this review out on the channel. Super, super, super cool looking set. Here we are at the end of the video, everyone, and what an awesome haul. Leave a comment down below about which one of these sets was your favorite. I think my favorite buy that I had to get was this Zane minifigure right here, the Hands of Time Zane. I wasn't able to get him. It was the only Hands of Time minifigure I did not have back in 2017, and I'm so excited to finally have him in my collection. But there are so many great ones, like the Snake Jaguar minifigure here for Zane. Uh, you'll be able to see all of those in my upcoming Zane video here on my channel. I now have every single Lego Zane minifigure ever released, but I will be waiting for that video until I get my June 1st releases uh, so that it is completely up to date, 100% accurate here on the channel because that is what we strive for here on W Bricks. Thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you all for 1,000 subscribers, but really, thank you all for 4,000. This is absolutely insane that we've come this far already here on W Bricks, and I cannot be more thankful for each and every one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe because I am freaking broke. I literally have spent every cent to my name once again on Legos and, uh, we got June 1st wave to uh, buy here. So make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed. Thank you all very much. And I will see you all later on W Bricks. Ah!